Chapter 506, The Collection of God's Hierarchy Standing still at the side of the warehouse, Lu Shu watched in silence as Kawayoshi flattered the high-position man named Kuriyama. A feeling of disgust swelled up from his throat as the car drove off. He had witnessed how the collection of God's spy sacrificed many lives in the Beimang remains so as to forcefully pull up his individual strength. Back then, he was simply startled by their morbid obsession with the creation of powerful fighters. And now, they were planning to use the same strategy and had captured so many past comrades in arms for the sacrifice. Bundai had once mentioned that the collection of God's superiors were hoping to accelerate the generation of a class. I threw even more radical methods in order to establish for themselves a more stable footing on the international platform. But it was not the right time yet. Could she mean that the sacrifice might not proceed as intended due to the uniqueness of Class A? Lu Xu was uncertain. He could only rely on his speculations. Many people were scared of ghosts. Yet, at that instant, Lu Xu felt that people's desires were even more frightening. After Kawayoshi casually ordered the drivers to park the four trucks in the spacious factory room, he told Lu Xu, Sometimes things are not to be spoken. We, the errand runners, are not required to know too many things. We just do whatever we are told by the superiors. Sure. Lu Xu gave a nod of acknowledgement. He had no sympathy for the goods inside the trucks, because none of the jingoists were free from guilt. However, that could not stop him from deepening his hatred towards the collection of gods, for their unethical acts. This time, all of the security team members allocated to Kawayoshi were Class E's, who showed complete respect towards the Class D Yamada. Lu Xu pulled open the truck door and glanced inside. There were around ten people in each truck, lying around on the floor. They were unable to move despite the absence of any chains or shackles. At this moment, a man retrieved a white suitcase and revealed forty syringes arranged orderly inside. Another person explained to him, one syringe per 24 hours. This can maintain their powers and only cause whole body paralysis. As the liquids were injected into their carotid arteries, the goods soon went quiet, only able to move their eyeballs. Thus, it seemed that they were capable of yelling only due to the fading effects of the drugs. In the meantime, those men inflicted violence on the goods, who were of much higher level than themselves. Where could they find such opportunities any other day? Lu Xu was aghast at the evil side of humanity. Although enraged, those goods could not even lift their fingers. Well aware of their eventual demise, the security personnel were unafraid of retaliation at all. After three injections, they will develop resistance to the drug. By then, you'll need to inject once every 12 hours. This is the second time. Lu Xu was shocked. You've even figured out the cycle of their drug resistance. How many people have fallen victim so far? Now, he had utterly no favorable disposition towards Nagaya Kawayoshi, Kuriyama, and even the twenty security members. All of them were murderers. Kawayoshi and Lu Xu, as Class D's, could do anything as they pleased while the Class E security personnel did not dare to act even the slightest inappropriately in front of them. All of them sat around the trucks obediently to keep things in check. This provided a glimpse into the strict hierarchy system in the collection of gods. In the heavenly network, Class E's and D's could interact with one another without any barriers. But in the collection of gods, Class E's were obliged to use honorific speech when talking to Class D's. Lu Xu asked Kawayoshi, how are they going to eat dinner? Kawayoshi dismissed him with a wave. You don't need to worry about them. Class E's are our workers. Why? Are you saying we should be their cooks? But that's not right, Lu Xu replied, we can't starve them like that. Kawayoshi smiled and put a cigarette between his lips, signaling Lu Xu to light it for him. But Lu Xu did not respond. In the end, he had to do it himself. You don't have to be so restricted with me. You will understand that we and they are from different classes. They won't even complain if you slap them. Believe me? 
Lu Xu's eyes suddenly beamed with joy. Really? An ominous feeling emerged from Kawayoshi's heart. Then, in his startled stare, Lu Xu came up to a security personnel and gave him a hard slap. The poor man almost fainted on the spot. He turned two rounds due to the momentum. When he could finally stand still, his brains were still spinning in pain. From Siko Harinari's distress, plus 999. Another slap. Before they could recover from the shock, Lu Xu's slap had landed on another person's face. From Motegi Tashimitsu's distress, plus 999. Being weaker, he collapsed to the floor and was unable to stand up again. From Nagaya Kawayoshi's distress, plus 666. It was only meant to be a bloody joke and he had certainly not expected Lu Xu to take it seriously. Thus, before Lu Xu slapped the third person, Kawayoshi stopped him quickly. Wait. Wait. You are being too harsh. Stop slapping them. Lu Xu froze. Didn't you tell me to slap them? He was not done. He could have easily gained close to 20,000 distress points like this. Kawayoshi felt like slapping himself now. What was he thinking when he cracked the joke with such a straightforward person who could not even appreciate jokes? From Nagaya Kawayoshi's distress, plus 666. And now Lu Xu noticed that besides the two who had been slapped, the other security personnel were contributing distress points too, although to a lesser extent. That was because they were worried for their own personal safety now. Although it was not like they had never been slapped by high-positioned people before, this man was too damn harsh. They were uncertain about both the current situation and this person called Yamada Akira. Meanwhile, Lu Xu realized that Kawayoshi was telling the truth. Those people did not dare to defend themselves. At this moment, Kawayoshi received a call. Yes, Lord Kuriyama. Okay. Right away. After he ended the call, Kawayoshi yelled, the opening of the new base has been pushed forward. Buck up, everyone. The goods are to be transferred to the base now. Lu Xu's eyes brightened up. Could that be his chance of entering the base? Chapter 507, Disguised Rejection Everyone in the warehouse was at the door, neatly lined up to receive their guest. After 20 minutes, Kuriyama himself arrived. Along with him was a fleet of over 20 delivery trucks. Lu Xu counted 27 large delivery trucks. 19 of them were most likely already filled to the brim with goods. Countless crack troops were guarding the 19 vans. They were all either beginner class Ds or advanced class Es. Each class D led a small team of five to patrol the vans. Their eyes were like hawks, looking around hesitantly. But Lu Xu could not detect any waves of powers coming from inside the vans, and hence could not confirm the contents of the 19 delivery vans. Could it be that the van itself was made of a material that could suppress the waves of powers? Lu Xu gave it some thought. If this kind of delivery needed so many people on guard, then the goods were probably worth a lot. Perhaps these were the precious resources the collection of gods wanted to transport to their new base. He suddenly became hesitant. Should he get rid of everyone and take the goods for himself? There were certainly many people around him, but they could not defeat him either. To destroy or not to destroy, that was the question. Lu Xu now had two concerns. Firstly, if the goods in these vans were like those sent in the afternoon, he did not know what to do. He was also not interested in the collection of gods and had no intention of saving them. Even if the collection of gods had captured people, the people were not worth the effort. Lu Xu was also not Buddha, who delivered all living creatures from torment. He was also worried that if he got rid of this identity too quickly, it would not do justice to the amount of preparation the Heavenly Network had done. Besides, he would accompany these goods to the new base. According to Kawayoshi, this warehouse would soon be abandoned. In the future, the new base would receive and store goods by themselves. Till then, the goods would not run away, and his image would not be destroyed. 
As long as he knew where the goods were, he could simply use his mystic water to break the wall, take the goods and leave whenever he wanted. Kawayoshi moved closer to Kuriyama and helped him light his cigarette. Lord Kuriyama, is Yamada Akira coming along with us? I'd like to take him under my wing. He is quite honest and frank. You can be rest assured with him. Kuriyama looked at him. Yes, I got someone to do a background check on Yamada this afternoon. There's no problem. But instead of following you, I'd like to employ him. My assistant was killed by a wave at the battle with Oda Takuma. If you want to use people, use them now. Pulling him on shore when he is in low spirits is sure to make him feel touched. Kawayoshi was dumbfounded. He did not think that Kuriyama too would want to take Yamada for himself. Yamada's performance before Lu Shu replaced him was indeed very good. He was adept at managing Nojoa Hakushun's travel route and work plans. Furthermore, he was very frank. He was willing to oppose anyone if it was for Nojoa Hakushun's sake. Which leader did not want such a subordinate? Kuriyama now had to make use of his men. Seeing that Takashima Tairatsu would soon have the opportunity to advance to Class A, the likes of Takashima would have to rise up as well. It would be extremely awkward if he did not have anyone under him then. Now that Yamada had been cast out as a neglected character, Kuriyama-sai turned towards the leftover conservatives as well. He did not have any major flaws. His practical aptitude was also above average. With someone like him drawing people in, others would certainly agree to convert and join him in the future. Kuriyama was banking on this very idea. He wanted to provide Yamada with timely help. He believed that Yamada, a neglected Class D character, would definitely be beyond grateful to him. What? Kuriyama looked at Kawayoshi calmly. Do you not agree? Yes, I agree, Kawayoshi said and lowered his head. He did not dare to compete over Yamada with Kuriyama. Kuriyama was Takashima Tairatsu's most competent underling. He held power within the collection of gods. That's good. Call him over. I want to speak to him. Kuriyama laughed as he patted Kawayoshi's shoulder. He was very satisfied with Kawayoshi's attitude. Kawayoshi approached Lu Shu with a complex expression. Ahem, Brother Yamada. I'll be in your care from now on. Lord Kuriyama wants to speak to you. Lu Shu was momentarily shocked. Why was the round face suddenly so polite? In reality, Kawayoshi himself clearly understood that Yamada was a cut above the rest. He could not be offended if Yamada became Kuriyama's trusted subordinate. Lu Shu followed Kawayoshi and approached Kuriyama. Kuriyama looked up at Lu Shu, with a superior look on his face. From Kuriyama Kumo's distress, plus 99. Lu Shu's height was indeed very impressive. But this did not affect his image, as the original Yamada Akira was also very tall. Kuriyama did not directly try to win him over. He calmly said, What talents do you have? Lu Shu wondered why he had suddenly asked him this question. He could not answer him with his current talents either. He could only blindly spout nonsense. My talent. I can do mental sums very quickly. Is this considered a talent? Kuriyama suddenly felt that he could not carry on with the conversation. He asked for Lu Shu's talents as an opportunity for him to show off his talents, before Kuriyama tried to win him over. What was he doing, saying that his talent was doing mental sums quickly? Kuriyama pondered for a long time before asking, mental sums? What is 1921 multiplied by 1921? 131, Lu Shu replied without any thought. Kuriyama and Kawayoshi were dumbfounded. From Kuriyama Kumo's distress, plus 666. From Nagaya Kawayoshi's distress, plus 666. Your mathematics teacher must be rolling in his grave right now. How could 1921 multiplied by 1921 be 131? Kuriyama took a deep breath. 
Your answer is wrong. My answer is indeed wrong. Lu Xu nodded his head. But I calculated very quickly. From Kuriyama Kumo's distress, plus 666. From Nagaya Kawayoshi's distress, plus 666. Kuriyama thought about it carefully. Lu Xu certainly did not hesitate in his answer. You could say he was relatively fast. But if the answer was incorrect, there was no point being so fast. Kuriyama lowered his face into his hands. Nagaya, hurry up and get him to supervise the truck loading. Kawayoshi understood that Kuriyama had given up on his plan of winning Yamada over. Kawayoshi brought him back to the road and grumbled. Even if you don't want to work with Kuriyama, there is no need for you to reject him so directly. Your future is done for. In Kawayoshi's and Kuriyama's eyes, Lu Xu was playing the fool as a disguised rejection. This was actually the result that Lu Xu had wanted. He knew that working for Kuriyama was not a role he could deal with easily. He did not have the ability to conceal like the original Yamada Akira. Who knows how much time he had spent before getting closer to Nojoa Hakushun, and at the same time not having his identity exposed. But how about Lu Xu? If he forced himself to put a square peg into a round hole and got involved with Kuriyama, sooner or later problems would occur. He only needed this identity to conceal his affairs. There was not much significance for him to be by Kuriyama's side. He could not allow his identity to collapse anymore. Chapter 508 Conspiracy and Decoy A group of people nervously prepared to transport the goods. The collection of gods was very particular about their affairs. They first sent someone to check the stock register and calculate its size. They only started transporting the goods after they had decided on the best arrangement. This way, they could ensure the efficient usage of the space within the delivery truck. Lu Xu observed from the side. Kawayoshi was still shaken from the incident that had just happened. On the contrary, he was now feeling somewhat sorry for Lu Xu. Do you know how many people have dreamed of being Kuriyama's assistant? Oh. Lu Xu looked at Kawayoshi. Lord Takashima may not immediately advance to Class A, only then will he have a monopoly within the collection of gods. Perhaps Lord Kuriyama can be on equal footing as Lord Kitamura, precisely because he is Lord Takashima's last underling. Kawayoshi anxiously said, if you followed him, even if you went with the flow for some time, you can still pick your position as head of department. Then, you will have in your hands resources, status, and a high level of skills. Furthermore many women in the organization will throw themselves in your arms. Lu Xu kept quiet. Since he had decided that he would distance himself from Kuriyama, then there was nothing else for him to explain. The more he talked, the more mistakes he would make. On the other hand, Nagaya did not stop talking. I know that in the past, Nojoa Hakushun and Lord Kuriyama had many conflicts, so now you are not willing to seek refuge with Lord Kuriyama. But now Nojoa Hakushun is dead. On the inside, Lu Xu was laughing. As long as you're happy. It took three hours before the goods in the warehouse were fully arranged. After that, everyone boarded the delivery van and moved over to the new base. The base, which had been in the suburbs for a long time, was like a steel fortress that was completely shut. There was already a high wall outside the base, which covered a large area of land. The time now was 11 p.m. The entire wall was brightly lit, with no spot left dark. In the sentry post above stood military personnel armed with knives. They patrolled the area in an orderly manner. Lu Xu was curious. Are we really using this base immediately because of that heavenly king from China? Isn't he an earth element metahuman? Wouldn't it be a piece of cake for him to enter? They were very particular about the underground layout. The entire underground fortress is three meters thick. Although you can't see from the outside, but it is impossible for that heavenly king to sneak in from underground. Oh, Lu Xu nodded his head. Fortunately, he was not an actual earth element metahuman. 
In the end, it was still the collection of gods that brought him here. After all, there was no earth element metahuman heavenly king in the first place. But this fortress was not specially built to guard against him either. He had not been here for that long, there was no way that they could build such a massive fortress in that short period of time. In reality, each major organization was working on their own similar project. It was said that the ground under the Luoshan Cultivation College had a very tight steel reinforcement structure. After everyone had realized that Earth Element metahumans had sneaked into an advantageous position, they prepared this for all such metahumans in this world. Although the cost was very high, there was nothing they could do about it. No one wanted to give others an opportunity to exploit their own resources. The security of this fortress was very strict. Even Kuriyama himself had to alight from the van to have his pass and fingerprints checked. Lu Xu believed that the security would become even stricter as they advanced to deeper areas. As the fleet entered, the doors of the fortress suddenly opened wide. The fleet drove all the way into the fortress. As Lu Xu sat in the passenger seat, he saw how impressive the inside of the fortress was. It was like an air base in a science fiction movie. Many people wearing their workwear were busy conducting trial runs on equipment, or allocating the transport of goods and materials. To his surprise, Lu Xu saw many non-practitioners. They were probably ordinary folk working for the practitioners in the base. Lu Xu knew that many organizations employed ordinary people to do basic services. But at the collection of God's mansion, even the gates were guarded by practitioners. Lu Xu had thought that there were no ordinary people inside the collection of gods. But after some thought, he realized that ordinary people would still do jobs related to science and technology, or cleaning and hygiene. These jobs did not require any combat power and could also show the importance of hierarchy. Lu Xu could see that the rulers of the collection of gods were safeguarding this very hierarchy. Whoever wanted to enjoy good treatment had to work hard and climb up the social level, surrounded by the true experts. They approached a large door. A hundred non-practitioners wearing their work clothes hurried to open the door and help to transport the goods in. Kawayoshi and Lu Xu stood at the side. Kawayoshi lit his cigarette. Kuriyamakin has handed over to me. From now on, you will follow me. In a while come with me to the underground base. Although you do not have enough strength now, but do step up your training. This place was specially selected for its abundant magical energy, which is good for training. Okay. It looks like Lu Xu was really infiltrating into the collection of gods with this one. But as for whether his strength was sufficient, it would have to wait until he beat up the likes of Kawayoshi and Kuriyama. They probably had no idea what they were facing. It was at that moment when one of the delivery vans suddenly opened its doors. To his surprise, Lu Xu saw Takashima Tairatsu calmly walking out. He had been hiding inside for a long time, but till now no one had realized. Kuriyama respectfully greeted him. Teacher. Takashima seemed to have some remorse. It looks like our opponent has not received the news. Not making a move despite such a large decoy and such a good opportunity, what a pity. It turned out Takashima had wanted to use these 29 vans of training resources to lure out that. Earth Element Metahuman Heavenly King. What a close call. Fortunately, Lu Xu had not made a move. So Nye Ting was not the only one who liked to hide and trick people. That being said, Nye Ting had used one third of the class aptitude geniuses as bait. He was more liberal in his spending as compared to Takashima. The good in the vans had all been transported out. Lu Xu saw that each box was neatly packed with magical stones. Just how many thousand stones were there? Knowing that the Heavenly Network only produced less than 200,000 magical stones per year, Lu Xu did not believe that the collection of gods produced more here than in his country. The collection of gods was also quite liberal in their spending. They just did not think that Lu Xu had entered along with them, and the plan that he had decided on was to first settle his affairs. As long as he knew where the resources were, he could come and take them any time. 
Takashima glanced at Lu Shu, Kawayoshi and all those who had participated in the transport. You all are very good. He left after he finished speaking. Kawayoshi excitedly said, not even this amount of resources could lure that heavenly king. This means that they did not even get the information. This proves that we are definitely not spies. In the future, they will do it again with us. Lu Shu was dumbfounded. Was your logic really so simple? But, the heavenly king that all of you are so scared of is standing in your base, unable to do anything. Chapter 509, Lu Shu, the Man of Justice In fact, in the goods transfer exercise this time, Kuriyama had indeed included many potential key personnel on purpose. Assured about their competence, it was meant to be a test of their loyalty. Only after a few rounds of tests like this could the truly useful members emerge. After all, people's trustworthiness was always questionable. The delivery truck in which Takashima was hiding in was not loaded with goods. Inside, there was only a device that automatically collected and recorded every trace of wireless signals in the region. Thus, no signal transmission could be done without his permission. Kuriyama checked the record and did not notice anything unusual. Therefore, Lu Shu had unwittingly earned Takashima's and his men's trust. Maybe even Ye Ting had not seen that coming. Yamada might have been in trouble then if he himself were here, because he would have definitely tried to send out the message regarding the large-scale goods transportation. Fortunately, Lu Shu did not need to convey the information to anyone. Did Nye Ting not ask him to think on his feet? What a blessing in disguise. Lu Shu found it weird, though, that things were not really going as expected. Shouldn't he be causing a nuisance now? What was he doing in the inner circle of the collection of gods? Could he be assigned to counter the heavenly network? That would be so very interesting. However, that was impossible. Spies were a long-term commitment and the collection of gods would definitely not give him the role without his Pledge of Allegiance. But Lu Shu could not help but start wondering, what kind of face would Heavenly King Yating don if it truly happened? A few years ago, an American girl was traveling in Beijing. Back then, the lottery had not been banned yet. Thus, the girl went to try her luck and, surprisingly, she got the best prize. The reward for the first prize was 50,000 yuan, second was 8,000, and third was 500. As for the best, it was a 10-day tour to the U.S. Following Kawayoshi and the rest, Lu Shu went into an elevator. Having Kuriyama's iris checked, the platform started to descend. Kuriyama glanced at everybody and instructed, report to the Department of Internal Affairs to record your irises. That will be your free entry pass. Lu Shu finally let out a sigh of relief. That way, he would have the freedom of going around the place on his own. However, it was not quite true. The underground base actually consisted of numerous floors, many of which were not accessible by normal workers like himself. At the moment, Lu Shu was silently reciting the series of number he saw on the door of the factory room just now. There were a whole row of similar rooms, so he must not remember the wrong number. In case he got the chance, he would certainly destroy them all, not giving the collection of gods any advantage. Lu Shu pondered, those collection of gods members would surely kneel down in gratitude if he could produce a box of stinky tofu right now. But he gave up the thought soon since there was no possible explanation to justify the source of the tofu. Kuriyama reminded, there are many female practitioners inside the base. But, behave yourselves. I don't want anything to happen. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That implied anything, including some fun, was acceptable so long as the consequence was within one's control. Lu Xu's face remained expressionless, though deep down he felt sorry for the females in the collection of gods. It was truly unlucky for them that they had to survive in an environment that knew nothing about respect. Finally the elevator shuddered to a stop. First-time visitors including Lu Shu and Kawayoshi were immediately led by people from the Department of Internal Affairs to settle relevant procedures. 
They registered their fingerprints and irises for an access pass and collected their daily necessities and dormitory access cards. This time, Lu Xu and Kawayoshi were again allocated to the same room. There were better rooms, of course, but they were not eligible. The hierarchy was apparent. The double-sharing dorm was as small as around 20 square meters. It was only equipped with beds, simple furniture and a tiny television on the wall. There was not even a computer. Lu Xu glanced at his phone and realized there was no signal. It seemed that only people of certain positions could contact the outside world from within the base. Every month, we can take turns to take four days off to return to Nishinokyo. Our duty is underground security. Three shifts. We work the day shifts. My monthly salary is five magical stones, and yours is three, Kawayoshi said smugly, but don't worry. When you advance to Class C, you will have much better treatment too. And as for me, I'm afraid that's not too far away. Lu Xu gave a nod of acknowledgement. He was a tad disappointed, for he had expected to be assigned surface work so that he could guard his magical stones well. Lu Xu's heart itched at Kawayoshi's high pay. That fellow was freaking taking Lu Xu's stones. At first, Lord Kuriyama wanted to put you on the surface for warehouse security duty, but it will lower your price by mingling with those commoners all day. So, I've helped you to request for underground work with me, Kawayoshi jabbered, looking eager for Lu Xu's appreciation. No worries. I will settle it with Lord Kuriyama soon. You don't have to report to the surface yet. Lu Xu almost shrieked. Who the hell asked you to help me? Don't think too highly of yourself. Thus, he said non-negotiably, as subordinates, it is our duty to comply with our superior's orders. We must never act on our own wills. You don't have to persuade me, because I have made up my mind. I want to work on the surface. Kawayoshi was speechless. From Nagaya Kawayoshi's distress, plus 666. Since when was he such a man of justice? Underground work came with benefits, because it was always easier to get recognition and promotion when working right beside the leaders. They could easily give them some benefits. Why was this man so irritatingly righteous? Which modern man would be willing to give away the benefits at hand? What future would he have if he joined those commoners on the ground? Kawayoshi made full use of his convincing skills. The women up there, no matter how pretty, are still commoners. And you know it too, the marriage between practitioners and commoners is not allowed. Besides, you won't have the time for cultivation training if you are too caught up with the basic duties on the surface. Save your energy, please. Lu Xu looked determined and serious. For the future of Japan, some things must be done. Chapter 510 The Loyal Kawayoshi Right now, Lu Xu's only wish was to stand by his magical stones and protect them from harm. Kawayoshi drew a deep breath. In fact, his true motive was to use Lu Xu as his work assistant so that he could be more focused on his training towards Class C. But now his plan was toast. Kawayoshi mumbled scornfully, good luck staying up there then. Lu Xu chided him with a shrug, shallow people like you will never understand me. All you care about is fame and fortune. Kawayoshi tried hard to fight back his urge to refute. How dare you talk to me this way? From Nagaya Kawayoshi's distress, plus 666. At the moment, Lu Xu could not wait to return to the surface. But he must not behave suspiciously in any case. Just when they exited from the Department of Internal Affairs, Kawayoshi almost jumped in excitement. In the futuristic corridor, Kawayoshi waved high at a tall woman, his eyes glimmering. <laughs> Miss Miyazaki. Fancy meeting you here. What a coincidence, don't you agree? Lu Xu studied the beauty. She was wearing a normal combat training suit and her face was pretty. But she ignored Kawayoshi totally, which made him rather embarrassed. Who's that? Lu Xu asked curiously. 
Lord Takashima's underling, Kawayoshi replied, a class C. She will surely like me when I advance to class C and I will make Miss Miyazaki my wife. Lu Shu was amused. I didn't know you were so loyal to her since you keep messing around with other girls all day. He tried to comfort Kawayoshi. Although she seems uninterested in you. Kawayoshi froze and prompted him to continue. Eh? Then? It felt like someone was willing to give him advice in times of need, even if the advice might not be helpful. Lu Shu smiled. She must have spoken ill of you behind your back. From Nagaya Kawayoshi's distress, plus 888. Kawayoshi's face darkened at once. Yamada, I admire your unique way of comforting. The next day, Lu Shu changed into his collection of God's uniform and took the elevator up happily. Meanwhile, in Kuriyama's office, Kuriyama laid down the document in his hand on the giant wooden table and gazed up at Kawayoshi. You said that he proposed to go to the surface himself? Yes. Sorry for troubling you to help him. Not only was he not grateful, he also scolded me for being obsessed with fame and fortune, Kawayoshi replied jeeringly. So unperceptive. Kuriyama sneered. Then let him waste his time with those commoners. This is his second chance and I will not give a third. You are right, Lord Kuriyama, Kawayoshi said respectfully, in fact, given his low capabilities, he would not be of much help to you. We may let him perish by himself. I was wondering, his monthly stipend of magical stones. Kuriyama shot him a glance. You may keep it. You don't need to give to him. Kawayoshi was overjoyed. Thank you, Lord Kuriyama. On his way up, Lu Shu had been paying attention to the locations of surveillance cameras with his peripheral vision. The security of the entire underground base was strictly managed, with cameras installed at almost every crossing, let alone in the elevators. Once he reached the surface, he went to report to the Department of Safety and Security first. To his consternation, what he was in charge of was not a specific region. Instead, he was assigned the surface security job of the whole base with 120 Class E collection of God's practitioners, working for him. Even Kawayoshi was not aware of that. Actually the first door in the outside wall of the base had one of the highest security standards, guarded by three Class Cs and some others. Underground, there were ten Class Cs, while Kawayoshi was the only Class D among the heads of department. Thus, Lu Shu's duty was to manage the commoners, not defense against external enemies. It was Lu Shu's first job as an officer, and surprisingly he was a collection of God's officer. Undeniably, casting his identity aside, the collection of God's had been a really good friend to him, for providing both distress points and a job. When Lu Shu started his tenure, he was pleased with the compliance of the 120 classes. Having his office directly opposite to the warehouse, Lu Shu enjoyed the peace of guarding his magical stones. But how could he find the chance of taking the stones away? At this moment, a class E carefully knocked on his glass door. Surprised, Lu Shu called him in. The class E walked in with an ingratiating smile on his face. Lord Yamada, I am a diligent worker and a competent practitioner. The previous acting head of department can prove it. It has always been my dream to become the captain, but the acting head has left. He said he would speak to you about this before he left. Lu Shu shot him a brief glimpse. He didn't tell me anything. If he has promised you anything, go find him, not me. Lu Shu could not be bothered. He came for the magical stones, not some promotion issues. From Tomo Sakatoshi's distress, plus 555. Then, Tomo Saka clenched his teeth and passed a box to Lu Shu. I think you must be tired due to the heavy workload on your shoulders. As your subordinate, I am concerned about your health and here is something for you. Lu Shu was surprised. He peeked inside the box to see stacks of 10,000 yen notes. In total that should be close to 1 million yuan. Was bribery so commonplace in the collection of gods? 
but the source of the money was uncertain and it could be from the exploitation of those commoners outside. Or maybe, they had appropriated public funds for personal use. In any case, there were records of deficiency on the stock. Well. Lu Xu kicked the box under his table. I see. Go back to work. Tomosaka was overjoyed. Accepting his money meant that his request had been approved. But Lu Xu was not the least concerned. After two days of anxious waiting, Tomosaka whispered to Lu Xu on the third day morning when the latter just arrived on the surface. Lord Yamada, my money is not easy money. Lu Xu raised his brows. But mine is. With that, he left, leaving Tomosaka petrified on the spot. From Tomosaka Toshi's distress, plus 999. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens